Okay, for this project, I'm using Red Heart with Love. It's a worst of date four ply acrylic. This one is Daffodil. And for the flower, I'm using a Red Heart Super Saver in pumpkin. And the leaves, this is Caron Party Yarn. I don't know the color name, but it's got the little sparkles in it. This is some scrap yarn that I have. And then I'm going to be using a size H. It's a 5mm crochet hook. Now the hat that I'm making in the tutorial is going to be for 12 to 24 months. One to two years of age because of the ability that it has to stretch. But if you want to make it for like say three to six month size, you're just going to need to leave out one row of increases. So we'll go ahead and get started. You want to start with a chain of four. And then we'll slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. Chain one. I'm going to go back through and I'm going to do 12 double crochets through the center of the ring. And if you prefer the, to use the magic circle, you can do that too. It's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I'm going to slip stitch into my first double crochet. Close that round off oh, without splitting your yard. And if you want to pull, sometimes if you pull the center, the, the tail, the center circle will be get a lot smaller. Like that. Now I'm going to start with the chain one. And then I'm going to go back into the same stitch and double crochet two times. So there's one, two times in the same stitch. Now I'm going to go around and I'm going to put two double crochets in every stitch around. back around after putting two double crochets in every stitch and you want to slip stitch into the first one to close that off. Now I'm going to chain one, go back into the exact same stitch that I just slip stitched into and double crochet. So now I'm, the next stitch I'm going to put two double crochets in. That first one we only put one and now I'm going to put two in the next. And then I'm going to put one in the next and then I'm going to put two in the next. One in the next. Two in the next. And you just want to repeat this all the way around. Okay, now you want to slip stitch into the beginning double crochet. Okay, now here's where we're going to, the sizing will be different. If you want to do it for like 3 to 6, 3 to 12 months, 3 to 6, 3 to 9 months, something like that. What you want to do on this round, this is for like the 3 to 9, 6, 9 months. On this round, you want to chain 1, and we're going to put an increase stitch every 4 double crochet. So go back in the same stitch and double crochet. You want to put four, <coughs> excuse me, double crochets in a, I'm sorry, three double crochets in a row like that. So one, two, three, and on the next one, 
you'll put two double crochets in the same stitch. And then you'll put three double crochets again. And then you'll put two double crochets in the same stitch. And now this is for like, like I said, three, six, nine month size. And you want to repeat that all the way around until you get back to the end for that size. Now for like 12 to 24, 12, 18, 24 months, this will be your increase on this round. So if you're making a small one, just don't even do this one. This is for the bigger size. 12, 18, 24 months. You chain one and you just repeat the row that we just did. Double crochet back in the same stitch. The next stitch will get two double crochets. The next stitch will get one. The next stitch will get two. So for the bigger size that I'm making, it's just a repeat of the previous row. I hope I didn't confuse anybody by telling you them two different ways to increase. But, but those, that should make the sizes turn out right for you. And again, I'm doing this one to 12 to 24 months. So I'm just going to repeat this one. Two, decrease, or two in the same stitch and then one. two in the same stitch and then one and if you're making the smaller size you just do the increases like I said every fourth one you put an increase and then when we get back around we'll all start at the same spot again because we won't be doing any more increases after this okay I went ahead and did a total from the top nine rows all together so I did four rows of just I'm sorry five rows of just regular one double crochet in each stitch and then we have the, the increase rows so nine rows total of course you can always do more if you want I'm going to slip stitch into my first one chain one I'm going to go back into the same stitch and do three double crochets and this is going to start the ruffle on it. So what you want to do is three double crochets in every stitch around. And just like this. So three doubles in every stitch and I'm going to go ahead and work around and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, after you make it back around, after doing three double crochets in one stitch, or in every stitch, I want to slip stitch in the beginning, double crochet, and then chain one again. Now this time around I'm just going to be putting one double crochet in every stitch and there's a knot in my yarn oh well so I'm going to go around putting one double crochet in every stitch all the way around just one this time and this will make the ruffle a little bit bigger so I'm going to keep going around with my one double crochet in every stitch and I will meet back up with you at the beginning. When you make it back around after that row, you just want to slip stitch in your first double crochet. Tie off now. Hide that tail. You can be done now if you want. Uh, I'm going to put a flower on mine if you want to do that. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Okay, for the leaf, you want to start with a chain of seven. 
and again this is optional you don't have to put this on your hat if you don't want to but I thought it made it look a little bit more springy timey so you want to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and then half double in the next stitch half double in the next half double in the next and then double in the next and then on the last one we're going to put seven double crochets in that last one so seven all together there's one Three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're just going to kind of start working back up the other side of the chain. So I'm going to go to the next stitch. Not this, because that's where we just did all those seven. This one, and put a double crochet. And then the next stitch will be a half. Half double crochet in the next. Half double crochet in the next. Half double crochet in the next. And then the last one will be a single crochet. And then I just come around to this very first stitch and slip stitch into it. Like that. And you want to cut a long tail so we can use that for sewing. And what I do, if you notice, when you work on both sides of the chain like that, kind of gaps open. I take my piece here. Find my needle. And I just use my needle and my tail to kind of just flip it over to the back side. Kind of just go like this with it. And I'll kind of hide that a little bit better. And make sure you leave this long one on here for so we can sew it on to the hat later. Now you need to make um, two of these leaves. my two main so now I'll show you how to make the, the flower um, I'm gonna do the center circle different color I'm gonna do that the, the yellow you want to start with the slip knot and I'm gonna start with a chain three and I'm gonna go back and slip stitch into the first one to form a ring and then I'm gonna do a chain one now I'm gonna go back and do 10 single crochets through the center of that ring so there's one two three four five, six, seven, eight. I have to pull them over a little bit. Nine and ten. And now we want to slip stitch into the very first single crochet, not the chain one. The first single crochet. So I always count back. So I get the right one. So slip stitch into it. And I tie off after every color change. You don't have to. I'm not good at changing colors without tying off because you can always see my seam. But if you just want to slip stitch your new color through, you can. But I'm going to tie off. And I'm gonna, you can pull your tail, usually make that center circle a little bit smaller, like that. 
Okay, now I'm going to start with my petal, the color that I want to use for my petals, whatever color you choose. And you can start in any one of the stitches that you want. So just go in one of them, pull your yarn through, and I'm going to start off with the chain of three. Now I'm going to go back into the same stitch, and I'm going to do three triple crochets in the same stitch. Triples. We're doing triples. So there's one. Remember, triples where we wrap twice. Two. Three triples. And now I'm going to do a chain four again. And I'm going to go back into the same stitch again and slip stitch. like that so that's one petal now what I'm gonna do is slip stitch into the next stitch make sure you get the right one because sometimes it gets hidden slip stitch and then I'm gonna go and slip stitch, slip stitch into the next one and I'm gonna make another petal here so I'm gonna start by chaining four once I get my chain four I'm gonna do three triples again one Two, three, and then I'm going to chain four, go back into the same stitch, and slip stitch. And that is petal number two. We'll have a total of five petals on this flower. Now you want to slip stitch directly into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the next one and that's where we'll do our next petal chain four now I'm going to go back into the same spot and do three triples one two three, chain four, go back in the same spot and slip stitch. And we just want to repeat this all the way around. We got two more petals to do. So we're going to slip stitch directly in the next one. And then slip stitch again. And that's where we'll start our next one. Chain four, and then three triples in the same stitch. And then a chain four. Go back into the same stitch and slip stitch. So go ahead and just repeat this. On your, go ahead and re get, repeat and get that last petal in there. I just finished that. I just finished that last petal, and then you want to. There should be one stitch left. Just go ahead and slip stitch into it. I gotta hide so many tails. They're getting in my way. Probably your way too. But go ahead and slip stitch into that last stitch there, and then tie that off. And if you want to tie, uh, leave a long tail so we can sew it onto the hat. Now basically the rest of this is just kind of setting it up where you want it and using your yarn needle and sewing it on. So just lay your hat out kind of. If you had want to put the seam to the back, fold it to where the seam will be in the back. And I'll probably put it on right about here somewhere. So I'll probably just, just kind of lay it out and play around with it. Do you get it how you want it? And then you just use your yarn needle. Oh, sorry about that. And then you just use your yarn needle and sew it on.
it's really easy. You decorate it however you want. You can put more than one flower on it or whatever you want. It's your, it's your hat. You don't have to put a flower on it. Just put a bunch of leaves if you want to. And just sew it on. Just like you would sew anything on, I guess. Just like that. And I'm just going to sew both leaves on and then the flower on. All the same. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this sewed on. Get the rest of my tails sewed in if I have any more. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Well, there it is. I got mine all finished. Um, I'd really like to see yours if you make it. Um, you can post it on the Back of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'd really like to see it. I'll put a link to that uh, below in the description box so you can find me. And um, also, I have an adult size hat just like this. I'll put a link to that too on the screen so you can check that out too. If you want to make, maybe you want to make mother and daughter matching hats, that'd be really cute. Um, don't forget to check out my other tutorials too, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, have a good day.